What's up guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am very, very, very excited to bring to you guys a new product review. And that is the new Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. So you guys know I, for the longest, have been such a huge fan of the original Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I used that one for forever to sit under my eyes. I loved, loved, loved it, okay? And when I saw that they sent me the glow powder, I was very, very, very excited to try it and really see what the hype is all about. Also, I did do an unboxing last week on my Instagram stories. So if you guys follow me, you guys saw that. If you don't follow me, then go ahead and follow me right now. But I did do an unboxing on my Instagram stories and ask you guys if you want to see a review on it and a demo using it. And I got a ton of requests saying yes. So here I am today filming this video for you guys. So I did also get the original translucent loose setting powder, but this is kind of a newbie also because I have always only used the original one, the white powder. They actually sent me the deep powder, which I'm very, very, very excited for. I mean, it is translucent, but the fact that they sent me the deep one um, is really exciting because I had actually been asked a lot to do the to do a review on the deep one anyways, and I just never did it because I never went and bought it. But I will show you guys how this looks today and also how the glow powder looks as well. And I'll explain the difference between the two and kind of how you use them both, but I am very, very, very excited because I feel like Laura Mercier's powders have never let me down, ever. And so I'm a huge, huge, huge fan, and I am very, very, very excited. So. First and foremost, I have primer and foundation on right now and my eyes are already done. I wanna just honestly focus more so on the concealer setting, that portion of the routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer to my typical area. So under my eyes, bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, and there we go. And of course, go ahead and blend it out with a beauty blender. Alrighty guys, the concealer is all blended out and we are good to go with that step. And next up is time for our powders. Now, in the PR package that these powders came in, um, it included a video demonstration and it basically featured Makeup by Mario and Mario demonstrated a new technique called, I believe it was called Set Up, Set Down. I will show you guys the video, but the box is humongous and I've gotten rid of it already. But I believe it was called Set Up, Set Down. And basically the idea is that the first step is to set down, um, which basically means to mattify or set the areas that you don't want to attract light to. So basically under your eyes, you know, your chin area, just, just set it in place and be done. Then the next step is going to be to set up. And to set up is basically gonna be to apply the glow powder to those areas that you wanna attract light to. So for example, the temples of your forehead or your cheekbone area or even the bridge of your nose, basically to set up means to attract light and bring attention to those features. So again, you have the set down, which is the original powder, and then you have the set up, which is the glow powder. Now, from what I understand, the glow powder is a bit different from a highlighter. As in, the glow powder is more so, it's more of a finely milled powder that in my opinion, it brings more luminosity to the skin as opposed to more glow or more shine, if that makes sense. So this powder here is actually going to work to give you that glow from within kind of look. Because if you noticed a lot recently, especially with, you know, um, editorial shoots and, you know, campaign shoots, meeting on celebrities, the super glowy look is not really, you don't see it as much these days. These days, a lot of the focus has been more so on that dewy or that glow from within kind of vibe. And so I feel like this powder is supposed to do just that. So basically it's similar to the original powder, but if you look really closely, it has really, really, really fine like golden specks in it. So essentially whenever I apply it, it'll make me look glowy without looking overdone. I'm gonna go ahead and take this powder puff that came with the powders, okay? And focus on setting down the areas that I don't wanna attract light to. So for me, first and foremost, of course, that's under the eyes. I couldn't even imagine walking around with glow powder under my eyes, like I could not do that. And probably my lower jawline, 
and that honestly may be it maybe like around here in my mouth area because of course I don't want to be glowing right there either I'm going to roll look up and set down like so and of course down here because I don't want to attract light down there if anything I want it to detract light and kind of look a little bit more contour down there so that's it a mouth area a laugh line sides of my nose and then I'm gonna set the center of my forehead because I can actually get pretty oily there so I'm gonna just set just the center now the first thing I noticed you guys using this deep powder is I know it claims to be translucent and I'm hoping that once I dust it away you know it'll still keep my highlight or my hided concealer that I had there it's actually darker than my skin tone so it's actually kind of muting down all of the highlight that I applied which I don't know how I feel about that I don't know but again like I don't know if it's because that's just how it's when you first apply it and then once I dust it away It'll be back to normal or what. But as of now, I feel like the highlight that I had there under my eyes is completely gone. Same thing with my forehead and like down here in my chin and everything. I feel like it kind of looks a lot more flat. Laura Mercier also sent over the glow powder brush. And it's actually a really, really, really cool brush because it looks like this. It's super soft. And basically the brush has curved edges to help you really get to whatever crevice of the skin you want to reach so like the cheekbone area you see how it naturally kind of just curves and contours to your body that's exactly what you want it to do and going with a little bit of the powder okay Ooh. that is so pretty can you guys see it on camera I really love that. Okay, let's try it over here. Okay, there you go. You can see it better on this side. You see how soft that is? So in my opinion, it's like a softer highlight. Just think of it that way. It's a much more softer and subtle highlight. And I love, love, love this golden shade. You guys know I'm a sucker for a highlight. I love, love, love a good glow. But the key in finding the perfect highlight is finding the perfect shade, okay? Not all girls can wear pink highlighters. Not all girls can wear pale highlighters. Not all girls can wear golden highlighters. And I'm not quite sure what color the non-deep glow powder is. Like, I'm not sure if it's the same golden tone. But I can tell you guys that for us brown girls, Oh, that looks so good. Okay. Even up here. Woo! That looks so pretty. Let me chin a little bit. And it's all about that natural glow, you guys. I love that. That looks so good. Okay, for my nose, I don't want to get too crazy, so... I'm gonna take a pointed brush for the nose because I'm very particular about where my nose highlight is. Okay, and then draw my line down and keep it both. And I am using a smaller brush just because I didn't wanna take the chance of getting powder everywhere. I love that. I really love that, you guys. And I also do recommend that if you do get the glow powder to also try out the glow powder brush, just because in my opinion, it makes applying it so much easier. And also in my opinion, it's just super beginner friendly because it's like when you use this brush, you can't get the placement wrong, you know? So I really like it. I just feel like it's subtle. And of course that's the whole point of it. It's not super pow in your face. You see, y'all see that? It's just, I, I love it. Okay. Alrighty, you guys, here is the final look. I went ahead and applied some bronzer, some blush, uh, some lipstick. For lips, I went ahead and lined my lips with chestnut. I also used the Dose of Colors Monday's liquid lipstick and then topped it off with a little bit of the Milani, this adorable, yeah, the Milani Adorable Matte Lip Cream just to kind of lighten it up just a little bit. And it came out to this really pretty 
uh, mauve pink lip. Um, we have some lashes on, some mascara, uh, our brows, all that good stuff. And then of course, set it with some setting spray. And here is the final look. In my opinion, you guys, I am loving, loving, loving the glow powder. I just love how effortless it looks, to be honest. I just feel like it just looks super glowy without it being too much or without it looking like the hot air is just sitting on my skin like it typically does. And in my opinion, this looks like I'm just naturally radiant, you know? Like, I just love that soft, glowy, dewy look. And I feel like this glow powder, why I love it is because I feel like this glow powder can be worn on its own with no foundation, no powder, no nothing. I feel like this could be worn on its own. Like if you were in a rush and you have like perfect skin and you don't like to wear foundation or makeup, nothing like that. If you wanna just do, you know, brows, lip gloss, some mascara and a little bit of this loose glow powder, I feel like it will look amazing. And also for the original translucent medium deep setting powder, I actually really, really, really like it. Now, I'm not quite sure if I'll use it again under my eyes. Everywhere else, I love it. I love the color of it, I love the tint to it. Even though it is translucent, in my opinion, it's not translucent, I feel like it does have a little, little hint of pigment in there. And I feel like it does such a phenomenal job of not only setting your makeup in place, but also just kind of refining those pores, blurring them in, you know, just really giving your skin that really, really flawless finish. My only gripe about it is just, again, because it has a little bit of pigment to it. If you are like my complexion or lighter and you do highlight your, you know, under eyes, or your nose or whatever, if you apply this on top of it, it'll basically cancel that out, if that makes sense. I'll probably do brightening powder under the eyes, the uh, setting powder everywhere else, and then the glow powder, of course, you know where I wanna glow. If you guys try it, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, but here, one more look, you guys, at the glow. Here you go, here you go. And then here you go, here you go. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and demo, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.